his ears are moving, he's alive. This view. A certain grey pony is getting very, very needy. I've been on the yard maybe 30 seconds and he's already down here saying, Come on, Catherine, give me my breakfast. Good morning, I'll start that again. I started vlogging and um, Edla's dad walked past and looked at me like I had uh, lost my mind, which happens quite a lot. I oh, just tipped box breakfast out, Monday's going well. How are we all? I am um, being watched very intently by these two because I have the breakfast well. This is going to really annoy Goat because he's got to wait for his breakfast because I'm going to ride him now before it gets too hot. So um, this won't go well. But yeah, first things first, I'm going to feed Brock, get pee in so she doesn't burn, and then um, put some poles out because I'm going to do some pole work this morning. It's Monday, the sun is shining. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's a bank holiday as well. Um, so yeah, oh, and the video last week's vlog went up last night and um, already it's only it's been up 24 hours and I've had a couple of comments and things, which is really, really nice. So thank you for that. But as always, I'm waffling and it's hot and I'm going to get done. We um, gave P a bath and clipped her yesterday. Well, I say that we. Um, I helped. I held her. Ella clipped her because she was so hairy. I hate clipping. And she had a little bath, and she looks so cute. Look. Do you have a haircut, Peanut? Hmm. <laughs> Come on then. Let's get you in. This is what I've set up. Um, not my idea, I got it off Instagram. I think it's Equispire or something like that. Um, I screenshot this like months ago and I have been meaning to try it. So the original layout only has one center pole. I've added the extra two in because I wanna try and ride shallow loops with it. But yeah, this is what we're gonna give a go today. So there's a couple of lines you can ride through and walk, trot and canter. I'll see how he's feeling. Just have a little play really. Um, Hopefully we won't have poles going everywhere. Usually when they're single poles, um, he doesn't tend to send them flying, but you never know with goat. <laughs> He's struggling to stay awake. He's sleeping. <laughs> hey, well, have you got a bit of straw in there? Sleepy boy. Look at this. <laughs> Look at you, you soppy boy. Tell me what you had to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? You had to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, want you all night long Want you all night long Want you watch all night, 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 Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, want you all night long Want you all night long Without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you? 
my pole work session with Go got off um, and then looked over Goat's just chilling there but look what Brock's doing I, I checked he is alive his leg moved a minute ago but look at this oh my goodness he is having a nap it's okay his ears are moving he's alive I always worry when they lay like that That was one very sweaty ride. Poor Goatee's gonna have to have a bath, which we know he hates. And um, Brock is still laying down. I've been in the field, giving him a fuss. And um, nope, he's going back down, look. He's not waking up for anyone. Not today. Right, let's get you washed off, Goatee. Guys, I can't even deal with this. I've just gone to check on P. And look what she's doing. My heart is just, look. It must be nap time. What is she doing? <laughs> I think he's actually snoring. I don't know if you can hear it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I've said it once and I'll say it again, this is the best time of day. I just love this kind of dusky evening light. Um, so yeah, I spent all afternoon basically asleep, oopsie. And I don't know, I just felt really tired. I was um, actually trying to edit the footage from me, um, from our pole work session this morning. And you know when your eyes are drooping and I just gave up and got into bed, whoopsie. Okay, what are bank holidays for? Um, and I've just popped Goatee out, he's here. Um, just popped him back out, done um, his stable ready for tomorrow because I'm back at work tomorrow. I'm on a um, day shift tomorrow, so I start at seven o'clock in the morning. And all of last week, I'd set my alarm for half five, and I said to myself, I'm gonna get up at half five, I'm gonna do a walk before work, like take the dog out, start the day right. Every morning, I, um, or well, in the night I must have woken up and turned my alarm off because it didn't happen any day. So tomorrow maybe I'll try again. Maybe I'll set my alarm for half five and see if I actually go for a walk. Goat's got tomorrow off so um, there won't be too much to do with him. And I might try and do a weights workout tomorrow because I didn't work out at all last week. Because when you're working 50 hours it's impossible to... Um, well it's not impossible but when I've done that and tried to work out every day and ride and ride two horses and cycle to the stables it's just too much so um, I take the pressure off myself so I didn't um, do any workouts last week except for riding and cycling so yeah I'm thinking tomorrow um, will be a good time to pick the weights back up but I'm gonna head home now I've got a bit of a headache coming on so I'm going to watch Killing Eve because there's been a new episode released so I'm caught up completely and I've also been watching um, Normal People I've got one more episode of that to watch which I've been putting off because it's the last one I don't want it to end um, but that will be my evening so I will catch up with you all in the morning or maybe tomorrow afternoon we'll see will Catherine get up at half five to walk before work what do you reckon Good evening or afternoon. Guess um guess who didn't get up at half five? I didn't get up at half five. No. Um once I signed off vlogging yesterday, I felt awful. I actually went to bed at like going up for ten and slept solidly until um my alarm my second alarm that I set, I switched one off in the night as always. My second alarm went off at twenty past six. Whoops, but um, it's Tuesday. Today is Goat's Day Off, so there's nothing really exciting happening other than I'm going to go and put the sprinkler on in his field. I've then got to move about 30 bales of hay because um, Sarah, who owns Tiny, her part of her gate or something is behind my haystack and she needs it for her pony. So um, that will be fun, not. 
and then just pop goatee out, cycle home again. Uh, I'm cooking for the family tonight, I do a lot of cooking if you hadn't noticed. Uh, I'm doing meatballs, which is from a HelloFresh recipe a couple of weeks ago, and then um, the good thing about HelloFresh is they give you the, card, the recipe card with all the ingredients on, so then you can remake it. So I remade it last week, and it was as amazing as the first time, so I'm gonna remake it again tonight, and I might do a workout at home. I mean, it depends how tired I am after moving 30 rails of hay, and then cycling home. We'll see, but let's deal with things as they come. Uh, first things first, sprinkler on. Watering goats uh, at the field because we have no rain in Suffolk and as you can see everything is dying. The ground is rock hard, it's dusty. Um, I think statistically we're like the region that gets one of the least rain in the whole of the UK. I mean there's an interesting Tuesday fact for you. I mean what have my weekly vlogs come to? I'm telling you weather facts. Oh, so I think what I'm looking for is behind all of this. <sighs> it couldn't just be at the back there where I could easily get it out. Nope, it's behind all of that. Okay, let's get this over and done with. This is not going to plan. So I thought, I thought, there's the gate, look. It's like, right, it was tucked down the back there. I could just pull it out, just moving the front stack, but now I've got to move the back one. But if I just take the top layers off, then hopefully I can just lift it out. I don't know, this is aggro, and all the bales keep snapping, and yeah. What has the weekly vlog come to, guys? Highlight of excitement, isn't it? Moving hay bales. Ah, got it. <laughs> for an evening walk and it is beautiful out here absolutely beautiful and I just realized that one I'm walking in my Disney jumper oh, it's a dog lead and two I'm wearing one of the outfits well the bottom half what I had bought for Cali which I was supposed to be going to California in April which didn't happen because um, of the coronavirus so I've got my shorts on and then these bad boys down here are my um, fancy schmancy uh, adidas hiking boots that I bought specifically for the trip so I'm trying to get some use out of them in England and um, they're super comfy to walk in I'm hopeful that uh, one day that I will um, get to wear them in California as planned and wear them in the Grand Canyon as I originally planned but yeah there's no way I was doing a weights workout tonight I ate so many meatballs and I'm feeling super bloated so I've just come out for a quick walk um, and to catch the best part of the day, in my opinion, this light is just, mm, it's so good. It makes me so happy. I should also just apologize for my very, very pale legs because I need to fake tan again, but, um, well, I've been fake tanning, but it's so like patchy, but I just stick with it. But then I was gonna fake tan tonight, but because I was resting with that hay earlier, it scratched all my thighs. So I feel like if I put tan on tonight, then um, it might be even patchier. So yeah, sorry. Uh, pale girl problems, I am whiter than white. <laughs> Just got back from my walk and I had to share um, my current go-to evening treat because I have to have something sweet in the evening. And if you watched last week's vlog, you'll know about my um, healthy-ish butternut squash brownie. So um, my little, oh, the lighting's odd now. My afternoon treat, evening treat even, is a brownie in the microwave for 30 seconds and then some ice cream. Mm, so good. This is my go-to ice cream. It's just the Morrison's low calorie salted caramel and it tastes amazing. I've just heated the brownie up so let's pop some in there. Oh, if only smells could come through the camera. Tonight has been a good night of food. Mm-mm-mm. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I look like a boiled egg. 
I have no makeup on. Um, do you ever have those days where you just really can't be bothered? That is me today. I realised I haven't washed my hair since Saturday, which is absolutely disgusting. But um, I didn't do it last night because I know I'll be cycling here this morning and then I'll probably do something when I get home. So I'll wash it before work this afternoon, I promise. Um, I've just got goatee in, as you can see. I'm going to give him a lunge. Um, and then that's it really for us today go home and get ready for work because i'm working till midnight so not a very exciting day but i'm off tomorrow and friday which is exciting and i just thought i'd turn around and show you so um i'm being really lazy i'm just gonna lunge go in his turnout over each boots but ella always says to me that it looks really weird that i work him like this when i don't put like his tendon boots on but for lunging and um, hacking, quite a lot of the time, if we're just going for a walk hack, I don't see the point in putting them on because they'll do more damage than good, like warming up his tendons. But she always says that it looks very, very weird to just exercise him in um, his overreach. And particularly as they're odd boots as well, I know that um, this will annoy a lot of people, particularly Hannah if she watches this, because she always messages me asking me if I'm drunk when I got my horse dressed. Right. Let's do some work. I'm not going to film this. You've seen me low, um, lunch goat before. I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, catch up with you uh, after I've lunch goat. I'll see you tomorrow morning. We're going to work now. I've got a weepy eye. I hate fever, haven't you? Hey. I've got to go home and go to work, goatee. Oh, he's just so shiny at the moment. Right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. You'll be a good boy for Auntie Ella tonight. Yeah? Good boy. Goat does this thing where he drinks. I don't know if you just saw, he holds it in his mouth like that. <laughs> Funny boy. Oh, good morning, guys. I'm so out of I came the, um, I'm so red as well. I came the long way to the stables. Um, so I went around a bit of our hacking route. And it's got this hill on it and it's just this steady incline and every time I walk go up there I think this is really good for his tushy, really making him work. Now I've just cycled up it and I've got a taste of my own medicine. Whew. Okay. I think I feel a bit more human. I'm going to have to take my helmet off. <laughs> I was... Oh, you can't even see me. Can you see me yet? There we go. I was a bit of a rubbish vlogger yesterday. I don't even know what I vlogged. But basically I lunged go and then I... Um, went home, I cycled, cycled home, and I did a workout, and I didn't film it, because it was hell, that's the only way I'm going to describe it, um, I think my legs were aching already from cycling, and then, yes, it was not very pretty, and then I had to quickly rush, cook dinner, and go to work, and then obviously I was working until late last night, so yesterday was pretty much a write-off, but, um, I'm off work now, and do you know when you just get those days when you wake up in a really motivated, positive mood? That's me today. Um, so I woke up, I was wide awake at seven. Um, obviously I've cycled the long route here. I had a good breakfast. I just feel like I've got my my life together. Got my life together. I was gonna use a uh, swear word then. I try not to swear on my vlogs because I want them to be um, PG basically. But yeah, I, I've got my life together. So there's not really, this week it feels like it's been quite a boring week. Um, I haven't had much to show you and I guess that that is life. Um, so the plan for today is I'm just going to get go in now and then I'm coming up this afternoon. I'm going to take him for a really long hack, just the two of us. I can't remember the last time that we went for a long hack. Just the two of us. Okay, right, stop. Um, and I'm going to go to the beach, I think, because we can hack to the beach from ours or the foreshore. So, um, high tide is at half four, so I'm going to try and catch that. And then, um, tomorrow I'm riding tiny. I'm off work today and tomorrow I think I've said that. And that is really it for this week but 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 things are starting to pick up so now some restrictions in the uk have been um kind of loosened is that the word i don't know released um we can now start going out so ella's been out for a couple of lessons but i haven't because my truck was um sawn but it's being taxed from the first of june which means we are definitely going to be out and about soon so i'm looking to get some cross country booked in um some other i want to go for a long hack i want to try and get on some gallops like there's loads that i want to do basically um so yeah watch this space i'm hoping very very soon i'll be able to show you something other than the yard and my kitchen <laughs> ready for some breakfast goatee
Are you ready? Now I know I'm a bit biased, but it's taken me ages to get him to look this good. <laughs> How shiny and, oh, I just love you, goatee. You look so good at the moment. And I hands down say this is down to pure feed. It's made such a difference. I've never, ever had him looking uh, so shiny, so well conditioned when I don't know if you can see, the grass is dying basically. We've just got dust fields, unfortunately. And um, my thoroughbred still looks like this. Yes, I'm talking about you. You ready to go in your stable now? Chill out? Before we go for a nice long hack this afternoon. Oh, that pure feed shine. Oh, what a drama. Um, finally out on goat this afternoon. I've had a really, really busy morning. I went home, made banana cake. My nan requested it. Um, and then what's that noise? Oh, it's just some leaves. I thought there was going to be a cyclist or something behind me. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just out on goaty now. But then I got halfway down the lane and realised that um, P was in the stable. And then Brock doesn't like being on his own. So I was worried that Brock was getting stressed. And I had to turn around, go back. And then there was a man up a ladder and goat didn't like him. And yeah, just a whole lot of stress. But we are out now and we're going for a nice long walk. Um, and then we're going to hopefully finish off by stopping down at the foreshore on our way back and having a little paddle in the river. Hopefully, if all goes to plan. <laughs> loves the beach and I just bumped into um, someone who I used to work with or who I still work with she's off on maternity leave and her baby is um, six months old and was in like a little um, kind of sling on the front and goat was just an absolute saint um, the little baby was getting all excited and the legs were going and um, she was like squealing and gargling because she's never seen a horse before and goat was just adorable he just put his head close to her um, like let her take him in like let him fast and there was dogs round and honestly I just love this little horse he's such a good boy um, and that walk in the water has loosened him off beautifully we're on a mission now we're gonna head home um, I actually had a HelloFresh order arrive today or delivery so um, I'm gonna be cooking one of those for dinner tonight which I'm super excited for um, yeah that's all there is to update me and my very attractive hive is um, yeah time to go home this is the hill I was talking about this morning. You can't really see um, that it's going up, but it starts here and it's a real slow climber killer of a hill. Goat is on a mission though to get home now. I think we've been out for a couple of hours. You want to get home for your dinner, don't you goat? You go. I think you can see now that we're starting to incline. This kind of stuff um, is so good for building up their top line and um, their bottom really good I swear by it just walking up and down hills um, makes such a difference there you go you can see now that um, we're starting to go up I'll be impressed if we've got um, this much enthusiasm by the top we're still going we're about halfway now this is the point in a minute where it starts getting a little bit tough go it's on one usually I have to Give him a lot of encouragement to get up here. This view. Oh, here we go, goat. This is it. The last bit. You got this. Up we go. I don't feel so bad today because I've already cycled up it once, so I've done my share. Come on, goatee. Build the bottom. 
build a peach. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, we're coming up to the steepest bit now. You can really see him having to graft. And the good thing, like what I think of when I'm riding up these, if you can hear me, is to get the back, think of the back end pushing under. You don't want them to drag themselves up with their front end. You want them to push, push with the back. We made it. Going back down the other way now. This is like our home stretch. So I've got my, as you can see, feet out the stirrups, goats on the buckle. We're just mooching on in. Um, I think we've been out for two hours. It's nice really nice hacking i used to hate it but now i only do it once a week it's good for the soul i think um good to just spend some time alone to think and especially with goatee it's really good for him as well um i think it's it definitely strengthens the bond because we have to take on stuff together that well i don't find um bricks and tarpaulin and things like that scary but goatee does we've got a welcoming party it's the girls Hey, Tiny, Annie, what are you two doing? Hello, hey girls. Come on then, Goaty, let's go home. Good afternoon, it's Friday and um, I've been pretty useless at picking up the camera today. All I've done so far is um, put Goat in this morning, cycle down, did the long route again and um, I've just been at home doing life admin really um, and I'm just editing this week's vlog which seems to be really chatty like I feel like all I've done this week is talk to you and not done a lot else so I hope you like chatty videos if you've got to this point then you must be liking it but anyway I am sat here uh, under my blanket just I'll show you my view editing the vlog and um, I realized I forgot to say that I actually bought a Pivio Aha, and it's just, oh, let me just turn it around. It's just arrived. So I bought it second hand. Um, it was a real impulse buy. There was, um, I saw it on Facebook. I think it was in the British Dressage group. Um, a lovely lady popped up, but she was selling one second hand and I was on it like that within like a minute. Um, I'd paid for it by PayPal. Uh, so I'm gonna open that up and then maybe we'll have a play with that this afternoon. Uh, hopefully you'll get a different view of me and Goat rather than just being sat on the fence. We'll see. It is my PVO. Um, so it's here. Woohoo! So I'm going to have a play with um, this this afternoon when I ride Goatee. Um, it's basically this um, like pod that you put your camera in. So I usually film um, on my Canon, which I'm holding now, which is my vlogging camera. But this will be filmed on my iPhone, so I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like. Um, but yeah, basically, you put this um, in the middle. There's like an app on your phone, and then apparently it spins around and tracks you riding there's a whole facebook group about them so i'm going to be looking on there to see kind of what settings and things i need it's got a little remote as well but yeah this is exciting isn't it vlogs are going to be next level now if i can get this to work good afternoon i think i spoke to you earlier when i got my i was pronouncing it wrong it's not pivio it's pivo my pivo pod um, so I've had a play around with that, which hopefully I'm going to use um, with Goat in a second. And your eyes do not deceive you, I am wearing a new t-shirt. Um, this is my new horsey top. I finally bought something that's not, that is horsey related. Um, and I've got my eye on loads more, but it's my birthday soon. So I'm kind of hoping that I might get kindly gifted some horsey clothes for my birthday. If not, then yeah, I've got a list. But anyway, I'm just wandering down now because I want to try, um, I've asked if I can try Tiny's Grackle Bridle on Goat because I think it's the one um, bridle that I haven't tried him in yet and I am in the market for a new bridle so um, I want to check, I want to try that out basically before I invest in a new bridle so yeah I'm just wandering down now, I'm going to grab Tiny's Bridle, wander back up, ride Goat and then come back down again later after Goat and ride with um, Ella so yeah gonna be a good afternoon it's so sunny but it's windy it's actually surprisingly chilly so it's like that weather where do you wear a um hoodie or don't you hmm okay so the grackle was not a success it was too big i had a feeling it might be um i was hoping that there'd be enough holes um to make it work but no it was too big so uh i guess i'll just have to buy one and try it maybe i'll just try and find a cheap one on ebay um, anyway, that's that. I'm now going to um, 
get on and ride. So I'm going to take the Pivo, if that's how you say it, out. It's really windy, so I'm going to try and sit it up on one of the drums. Hopefully, drums, barrels, whatever the hell they're called. Hopefully, it won't blow off, but I will take this camera as well and put you at A again. So hopefully, you we will get something out of this schooling session. But I'm going to work on um, what we practiced in our Olivia lesson last week. So, um, yes time to get going because i'm running late and i'm supposed to be riding with ella soon and i'm waffling as always when don't i waffle <laughs> okay it keeps blowing over but i think i've got it set up and i think it's tracked to him and recording at the moment um we'll give it a go it's probably just gonna end up because it's so windy being from my normal camera today but right let's get on <laughs> guys last week um if you wanted a voiceover for my training sessions and you said yes so this is just at the start of our session where um i'm just just got on basically and just testing that um goat is listening to my leg he can be really really behind the leg so something i've been working on in my olivia lessons is getting him to listen and you'll have seen back there in the walk um i basically keep my leg completely off him when i put it on i expect there to be quite a sharp reaction um, I'm not too fussed about his head carriage or anything like that this early on. I just want him moving forwards off my leg. Um, so you can just see here, I'm just working him in the trot. These are our um, first couple of trots and you'll really see how he's quite, um, I'd say quite tight. Um, not really working over his back. And here, this is an exercise I do all the time. Um, again, from our Olivia lessons, is a shallow loop where I'm just checking that he's straight. Um, and you can see on this rein here, um, he's just really struggling to move forwards and that's because he's struggling um, with me keeping him straight and riding off my outside rein, which is something we're really working on. Uh, and then these are our first few canters. Again, the same kind of thing. I've left a couple of canter clips in here because I wanted to kind of show you the difference in the canter at the start and the end of our session, kind of once we've worked in. And um, this is his worst rein, you'll see he's really struggling to step that right hind under. Um, and then we moved in to doing um, a little bit of turn on the forehand, which I had never actually done before until our last lesson. So it's new for the both of us and it's really good for him because it just gets him thinking about moving his back end separately from his front end. Um, and going this way is actually his better way. Um, so I'm just watching that. I actually have to have this on my phone to watch it, to talk to you at the same time. So if there's a slight delay, it's because my phone's not quite out. Um, not quite in time, sorry. And this rein um, he struggles with because he's crossing his right hind over. So you'll see this is also the rein that we struggle with the straightness with, particularly in the canter. He just struggles to get that right hind underneath him. So I'm doing a lot of work at the moment to strengthen him up. And we just really see that this one, I've just completely lost some momentum. Um, I needed a lot more oomph going into that. We kind of just ground to a halt and then it was a lot harder for him to try and get his hind quarters round. I'm by no means the expert, by the way. I've only been riding, this is only my second time riding these. Um, oh, where have we gone? Oh, there we are. We're back again. And you can just see just from doing that a couple of times how much that has opened up his walk. And then now I'm just moving into our leg yield. And again, um, I've left all the ugly bits in, by the way, because I want to keep it a realistic um, portrayal of how our sessions go. So you'll just see me here. I'm just constantly tapping um, that right hind with the whip every time I'm nudging him with my leg um, just to try and get him to move over and here it goes a bit wrong he goes quarters first I then look over my shoulder and I'm like whoops and then try and correct it um, but again he just really struggles crossing that right hind over this one's a bit better there we go you can see again I'm still having to tap him to remind him um, Olivia said it's kind of thinking him to lift and cross over that leg and then this rein he's much better and I've only left one clip in because it really annoyed me and the one thing that I'm not supposed to be doing I'm doing is that I'm letting him bend to the left and we discussed this in my last lesson so yes I need to fix that and now we're just moving into the canter work um what we're working on in the canter is really getting that lift and that jump so it's a similar um kind of thing to what I was doing in the leg yield in the sense that I'm just tapping him on the bottom with the schooling whip 
and then we change the rein there and just look how much that's opened up his trot, the lateral work. And again, here we are, we're just getting him to sit on his bottom a bit more. I'm just really thinking not more about um, not more about speed, more about power. Like I said, this rein he does find it really hard on and you just see me doing a little shallow loop there just to check his straightness. And this is much better now. You just see, and then I just at the end played with some canter to walk transitions, which are something we've been trying to learn for a little while. Just a couple of joggy steps in that one. I couldn't really have him together enough, in all honesty, but this is new for the both of us. And I just really want to leave these in so I've got a point of reference to look back on, hopefully in the future one day when we get it right. Um, and this is just me having a play, doing it over um, the centre line, changing rain. I'm quite happy with that upwards transition there. And then I'm just going to do some canter to walk. Again, he jogs into it a little bit, but he hasn't been doing it that long. He finds the upwards much easier. Like I said, this is his much better rain um, going this way. We're not all perfect, are we? So um, it just gives us a lot more to work on than the other one. And then that's just me stretching him off at the end. So I've massively condensed this session. Um, and now you're seeing me on Tiny. But yeah, I've massively condensed it. So hopefully you found that interesting. Good evening, guys. Um, it is Saturday now. And I will be honest, I haven't filmed anything today. I've been at work all day. And then um, I just went to the stables after work. And then it's Saturday night, so it's pizza night. So just um, finished eating that, and we actually watched the um, SpaceX launch, which is quite emotional for me. Like, I feel myself getting a little bit choked up. Um, basically, I've seen quite a few, um, quite a few, I've seen two, two launches um, in my lifetime. I was very lucky um, to watch a shuttle launch, a manned shuttle launch, back when I was 16 with my parents. Um, and then last year, um, I saw a SpaceX launch um, unmanned um, when I was in Florida um, with my ex, which was incredible. So um, it's a little bit sad to not be there for this one. Um, and with everything going on, I think it just put it all into perspective. But it was still absolutely amazing to watch. We live streamed it. We all sat together and watched it. So that was really, really nice. And obviously wishing... Um, Bob and Doug the safest trip up to the International Space Station and I'm a bit of a space geek so um, yeah anyway I'll end that and I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I'm working all weekend so there's not really going to be anything um, exciting going on. I'm just kind of snuggled up in my huge fluffy jumper because it's Saturday night. I want to be cosy. Um, so yeah I'm going to end the vlog here. It's been a little bit of a slow week, a bit more of a chatty one. Um, like I said things will start to pick up soon. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe it's brought you a little bit of relaxation and um, I will catch up with you all on Monday um, in next week's weekly vlog and as always if you have liked this um, video please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new around here subscribe for more videos and um, I will see you all next week. Bye guys.